This is a Japanese armour and it is a replica of a 12th century armour that is in the shrine of Katsuga Taisha in Nara and it is one of Japan's national treasures. It's known as the Plum Blossom and Reed Warbler armour because on the back right here there's a little bird which represents the Reed Warbler. Now, in 1929 it was made and I understand that it was put in a shop window and unfortunately red fades very badly in sunlight and so all this beautiful red braiding had faded so they came up with a bright idea of painting all of it except for the back because that hadn't faded so badly and unfortunately they hadn't done it very neatly so my job was to work out how to remove all the red paint that had been splodged on this lacquer and on the gold decoration. So lacquer is quite a sensitive um, subject and so you can't just use any solvent and so I had to do tests. But luckily if you remove lacquer on a cotton swab it glows under ultraviolet light. So I was able to check to see whether the um, the lacquer was being removed and luckily I found a solvent that could remove the paint but not the lacquer and so over a two week period I managed to remove all the excess red paint. The other thing was it was very dusty and dirty and had had an insect infestation so there were bodies of insects stuck in the crevices and underneath these gold decorations. So with a vacuum cleaner and a brush, I was able to suck out the, all the dust and the dirt and everything and um, unable to just sort of clean it up. And on this um, dough skin, I was able to clean the leather using a smoke sponge and that just made it brighter and cleaner. The other thing was I had to clean all the lacquer itself. And I did this with a gentler solvent than what I used to remove the paint. And just by cleaning it, I was able to bring some of the shine back, back to the lacquer. And having cleaned it and hoovered it and used solvents, I brought it back to looking more respectable than when it was first given to me.